Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vishali and today we will learn about Cross and Tropilos PyTorch. So in this video, we will learn the following topics. Firstly, I will introduce you about the Cross and Tropilos PyTorch and then we will discuss about the implementation of the Cross and Tropilos PyTorch and after that we will discuss about the Cross and Tropilos PyTorch softmax and the functionality of the cross entropy loss pytorch and in the end we will discuss about the cross entropy loss pytorch logic let's start with the first topic that is the introduction to the cross entropy loss pytorch cross entropy loss pytorch is the process that is used to calculate the difference between the probability distribution of the given set of the variables and the quotations are to calculate the cross entropy between the input variable and the output variable. Let us move to the next topic. That is the cross entropy loss implementation. In this, we will discuss about how to implement the cross entropy loss. Firstly, we know that the cross entropy loss is used to calculate the difference between the input and the output variables. Now, let us jump into the Google Colab and, and to see the implementation. We have already written the code here. So, firstly, we will run this code and see how the output look like after running the code. Here we can see that the cross entropy loss pytorch output is written in the screen tensor is equal to 1.7432 now we can explain this whole line by line we firstly import the torch module and then give the batch size and after that we give the input to the x variable and uh, also uh, calculate the target from the from this output and input variables. Let us move to the next topic that is cross entropy loss pytorch softmax. The cross entropy loss pytorch softmax is defined as a task that change the carrier values between 0 and 1. The motive of the cross entropy loss pytorch softmax is to measure the distance from the true values and also used to take the input probabilities. Now we can see this by implementing the softmax. So let us jump into the Google Colab to see the implementation of the softmax. We already written the code here and run this code and see the output how exactly our output look like after running the code. Now we can explain this code line by line. Firstly, we will import the torch module, after that give the batch size and after that give the input variables that give the input variables that generate the random numbers and after that the calculate the target variables and define the softmax, predict the softmax and calculate the loss between the prediction and the target variables and uh, after that we calculate the loss and uh, finally the result is see, uh, seen on the screen after running the code let us move to the next topic that is cross entropy loss pytorch function here is the function of cross entropy loss cross entropy binary cross entropy binary cross entropy with logits ctc loss cosine embedded loss nll NLL loss, Gaussian NLL loss. We can explain all these function one by one. Firstly, we will explain the cross entropy. The cross entropy is used to calculate the difference between the input and the output variable. Next one is the binary cross entropy. The binary cross entropy function is used to calculate the binary cross entropy between the target and the input probabilities. Next is binary cross entropy with logits. The binary cross entropy with logits function is which calculate the binary cross entropy between the targets and input logits. Next is CTC loss. 
This is used as a connectionless temporal classification loss. Next is cosine MID loss. This is used to calculate the loss between the given tensor and also used for measuring the two input and the similar or not. Next is LL loss. This loss is the negative loss likelihood loss. Next is Gaussian NNN loss. This loss is a Gaussian negative loss likelihood. Let us move to the next topic. That is cross entropy loss pi torch logits. Here we can learn about the logits. The, the logit function is used to identify the standard logit distribution. It is used in the machine learning model. And the pi torch logits are used to take score which is called the logic function. We can learn th this logic function with the help of example. Let's move into the Google Colab to see the implementation. We have already written the code here. Now we can run this code and we see that the output is come after running the code. We can explain this code line by line. Firstly, we will import torch module to calculate the cross entropy loss logits. After that, we can calculate the target variables and uh, also use as a prediction value, as an output value, and uh, give uh, see the positive weights given and the crit also calculate the logit loss with the help of this function and uh, after that we can calculate the difference between the output variable and the input variable that we can get the target variables and after running the code the output is seen on the screen thank with this we have covered all the topics of the cross entropy loss pytorch if this video was helpful please like this video also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.